He doesn't have the objectives in his hand. Okay. When I asked Muhammad, what project are you doing? He said, icebreaker. And then I thought of a unique way of introducing him. And that I thought of it at 3 o'clock, sent a message to somebody, and I got the introduction. Because every time I introduce Muhammad, it's the same thing we hear, right? The international president of Toastmasters, the colonel, the CID. So then I thought something different for TGIS. And I'm going to read it in the same way that person reads out. Don't look for his words, they are far and few, but observe him closely, and inspiration will touch you on all folds. A razor sharp mind, behind that warm genuine smile, quite powerful and charismatic. He walked the untread path and paved the way for the rest, lighting a million hearts, a trailblazer in his own right, Colonel Mohammed Murad, the man, the mountain. Can you guess who this is? <laughs> the person who wrote this, is your own Saira. Ooh. Saira with her pointing skills. Thank you so much, Saira, to listen to my request at 3 o'clock in the afternoon today. Please welcome Lieutenant Colonel for me still, Mohammed Murad, for his honor. And uh, thank you, Saira. I don't know whether she's here or not. She's not here. So convey my thanks to her uh, because uh, she's a special person for me, actually. She was one of the people that uh, was along the journey from the time that Dubai Toastmasters was there. And then she came up into the ranks of TGIS. And I, I really appreciate people like that. And, and that is probably what my icebreaker is going to be about. Uh, how many people here know me? Oh. <laughs> how many people don't know, don't know me? <laughs> you don't know me? Okay, so this speech is not for the people who know me. <laughs> DTMs, you sit aside. It's for the people who don't know me in a way that is probably different than any icebreaker because I know that there are a lot of people here who have been with me along my journey for a very long time. And it, I'm not going to say the same old thing that Balaji was talking about in saying what my history was. On the contrary, I'm going to talk to you what Hamad Murad is all about right now and how the journey of 20 years has changed certain perspectives of what Hamad Murad stands for. And I chose to talk to you about the four core values of Toastmasters and how these have changed in a person that has gone through the journey. And the first core value is integrity. So for the purpose of, of answering uh, Balaji's comments in the beginning that all the DTMs have not prepared. In the interest of integrity, I have not prepared this before. <laughs> <laughs> and it's interesting how integrity comes into how you prepare yourself in being able to convey your, your integrity. You see, integrity is not what I used to think 20 years ago. Integrity is not either you are born with it or not. And that was the thing that I was harping on probably 10 years into Toastmasters also. You're either with integrity or not. Now I understand that integrity is something that could be learned. And it's something that could be developed. Because unless you actually develop in Toastmasters, and you develop an integrity within those masters, it's very difficult for people to see the integrity in you. And it, it's a di different mindset of how we perceive our own characteristics. I understand now that integrity is possible to be questioned. You ask Balaji, you ask the other DTM, they say, do not question integrity of those people who have been there for a very long time and we have seen them. 
your integrity, in my opinion right now, gets strengthened when you are questioned and when you prevail. And this is what had happened actually. Because in international, I was questioned. At the leadership, I was questioned whether I have the right intents to take a certain decision. But yet, when you prevail and you make sure that you have taken the right path by the consent of the people who have questioned you, that is when you will see that you have a changed leader. Integrity, respect, second value. And respect is not for you to respect people. Respect is for you to earn the other's respect. That's what Toastmasters is all about. And, and RK here talked about looking at your mother and, and respecting the mother. And that's very true, by the way, until you get married. <laughs> <laughs> Because right now, 20 years into Toastmasters, I'm still married to the same lady. <laughs> and it's interesting how this lady has gone to respect me more, although she hates what Toastmasters is all about. <laughs> and it's all the way across within the club, within the areas, within the district, even the whole world. It's how people respect you is what will make a difference. Integrity, respect, service. And, and service, uh, you know that it's not prepared, so I go back to our case example of the pan wala. <laughs> and, and that is in India, because here pan is not allowed, right? <laughs> <laughs> or we think it's not allowed. <laughs> Well, here, here, let's talk about the Karak Chai Wala. <laughs> and it, it, it's amazing how these Chai Walas come to you and call you with your, new, your own name. They become personal to you, and this is what service is all about. You need to be person to person in order to convey service. And that's what the officers in the clubs and the districts do. Service. And the last one is excellence. And what a great, great organization for me, and I'm sure for all of you, to understand that excellence does not come until all the other three values are fulfilled. All the three values are fulfilled. And Amazingly, excellence is something that I have come to understand is not about processes. It's not about programs. It's about having yourself with a mindset of excellence in order to be someone that is called a Toastmaster. And that is what I stand for right now. Thank you so much.